I'm gonna share 13 lazy weight loss hacks that actually work. And I know they do because they help me lose 130 pounds and keep it off for eight years. Number one, swap out one egg for egg whites. I love doing this in baking and for French toast. So for example, like instead of using two whole eggs in baking or in French toast, I'll use one whole egg and then some egg whites. So these eggs we get from Costco, they're about 80 calories for one egg and about six and a half grams of protein. And a quarter cup of egg whites is if you can see here, 35 calories and seven grams of protein. So by swapping out one of the eggs, I get to save calories, but keep the same amount of protein. Now I like having one whole egg because the yolk has good nutrients and good fats in it. So I always make sure I keep one. But then when I bake or have French toast, I get to enjoy tasty food keep the protein, but keep the cows down. And that really helps me like meet all my weight loss goals and stuff. So that's a trick that Sassy and I have been using for a really long time. Number two, do sneaky cardio. In the beginning of my weight loss journey, like I really, well, physically it was hard for me to do a lot of cardio, but also like I dreaded it because I had made it so hard before. So I started doing sneaky cardio, meaning, I'll park my car, and I still do this, we've done this the whole time, I'll park my car really far at the grocery store so that I have to walk to get in. And then on the way out, I'll take my cart and I'll purposely put my cart in a really far away cart corral. That way I get steps in, I'm doing cardio and I don't even realize it. And last weekend, Sassy and I, we were like, you know, we could take a break doing like our regular cardio. And so we washed the car instead. And we had a lot of fun. We got the car done and we snuck our cardio in by moving around washing the car. And the next day we were like, you know, let's go to the mall for cardio. And the funny thing is when you go shopping at a mall, like you don't realize how much walking you're doing. We ended up going to two malls and we did like double or triple the cardio that we normally do. And we didn't even realize it because we were having fun shopping at stores. We're actually, we're leaning out right now and we needed new clothes for summer because our old ones don't fit right. And so it was like, didn't even feel like cardio. And when we were done, we were like, well, we did way more cardio than we thought. So sneaky cardio, huge. Number three, substitute a scoop of protein for a third cup of the flour in any baking recipe. I've been doing this for a long time and what it helps do is it saves about 25 calories and adds like 20 grams of protein depending on the, you know, the protein powder that you use, but it allows me to enjoy baked goods for lower calories and the increase in protein helps me stay fuller longer. Um, it helps if you have a really good protein too and Hoodalt HTLT subs, they do a casein whey protein and casein whey blend is actually really good for baking. I love Luckier Marshmallow is like one of my favorites. Use code Nicole to save yourself 10% if you want to get their protein. But so for example, if your recipe calls for one cup of flour when you're baking, I like to do um, two thirds of a cup of flour and a scoop of protein powder. And then, you know, if there's two cups, you do one and a third cup and then two scoops of protein powder. So kind of like that. And it saves decent cows and adds decent protein. Four, check or switch brands when you're shopping for things like bread, sauce, and salad dressing are things Kyle and I really noticed. You, for example, like regular salad dressing. We were using the one from Costco, the, I think it's called, um, it's called La Maison Fresh Garlic. Caesar dressing and two tablespoons is 140 calories. Then Costco started carrying Hidden Valley Ranch and it's regular dressing, 
but for two tablespoons, it's 120 calories. So we still get to eat regular salad dressing, but we're saving 20 calories just by switching brands and switching types. And we found that, like I said, in bread, we found switching brands of bread saves us 10 to 20 calories, um, pasta sauce. So check around, you might be able to eat the same thing that you enjoy, but a different brand might have less calories. And that's a huge hack that we learned over the years. Number five, I get asked about this all the time, like, what do I do for cream in my coffee? I love cream in my coffee. So switch from cream in your coffee to something like Fairlife milk. We just discovered this 1% um, Fairlife milk. They also have like a 0% if you can't find the one. But what this does is, it saves calories and it'll give you a little bit of protein because this milk has a ton of protein in it. So the Coffee Mate, we found a vanilla caramel Coffee Mate at the store and one tablespoon is 35 calories and five grams of sugar. And then it shows you only how much a cup is on this. So I Googled the Fairlife and it's about six calories for a tablespoon and only 0.4 grams of sugar, and it's 0.8 grams of protein. So you're adding a little protein, saving a lot of calories and saving some sugar by switching to the Fairlife, you still get to put some flavoring in your coffee, like cream-ish stuff in your coffee, but you're saving cows that way. Number six, switch from regular pizza crust to cauliflower crust. The one we found at Costco, it's called Molinero's cauliflower crust, we love it. It really, like, if you gave it to someone and didn't tell them, they would not know it's cauliflower crust. I always want the ready-made pizza crust, but it's a lot of calories. So on a normal day that's not a cheat day, I'm like, oh, I really want it, but it's too many cows. So the cauliflower crust, for a quarter of the crust, it's 130 calories, and then you add 15 calories for a quarter of the package of sauce that it comes with. So a quarter of the pizza is 145 cows. The Molinero's regular pizza kit that's right beside it, the regular crust, for a quarter of the crust and the sauce, it's 200 calories. So you're saving quite a bit of calories just by having a cauliflower crust. And when you top it, it's like, you wouldn't even know really, like it's so good. So you get your pizza and you save cows all at the same time. Number seven, swap regular pepperoni for turkey pepperoni for your pizza or for anything. We love pepperoni and these Grimm's turkey pepperoni from Costco, they're 50 calories a stick and they do not taste like turkey pepperoni. Again, like you wouldn't know if you gave it to somebody, they wouldn't be able to tell. So if you eat that instead of the Pillars regular ones, so for two of the Pillars regular pepperoni sticks, it's 210 calories and 12 grams of protein. If you eat two of the Grimm's uh, turkey pepperoni, it's 12 grams of protein and 100 calories. So you're saving yourself 110 cals and keeping the same amount of protein. So you still get pepperoni on your pizza. Number eight, this is a sassy special and this has saved us money and calories. Make your own extra, extra lean beef or extra lean meat. Buy whatever is the cheapest at the grocery store, ground beef, ground beef ground beef at the grocery store. And then we make it lean ourselves. Like if medium beef is on sale or only lean, we buy it anyway at the cheap price, save ourselves money, and then we cook it up and we drain the fat. We run hot water in our sink and we drain the fat into the sink. And then we rinse the beef, the cooked beef with hot water and we drain it until the water runs clear, which means all the fat is gone. And you end up creating extra, extra lean beef. It doesn't really take that long. Save cows and money doing it that way. Number nine, have cute workout clothes, cute lunch pail, cute containers. And I know this sounds silly, but in the past or whenever I buy workout clothes that I don't like or I don't feel good in or don't fit right, I don't feel motivated to do my workout. And I purposely wore, this is my new workout outfit, and I feel cute and fit in it. And it makes me put so much more present, like effort into my workout. When I'm spending time worrying about my outfit because I don't feel comfortable or it doesn't fit right, I don't put the effort into my workout the way that I would want to. And when I was overweight, if I didn't like what I was wearing, 
I usually would skip the gym if I didn't feel comfortable in it or I wouldn't do cardio outside at all. I would just hide. When I feel good in what I'm wearing, it motivates me to keep going. It's the same with having like a cute lunch pail. I look forward to like packing my lunch because I love it or cute pink containers. It's just like something like, oh, I can't wait to pack these. Look at this. You pull this out of your lunch pail at work. Look at this. It's like exciting. If you feel good in what you're wearing, if you feel good with what you've got to pack stuff in, it's so much more motivating to stay on track. And it might sound silly, but it really does make a difference. Number 10, have a grocery list and an idea of the meal plan that you want for the week when you go groceries. So this is literally what I use for grocery lists. They're just post-it note stickies. And as you can tell, I've already started. Uh, this is how I lay mine out. I put all my staples that we're running out of on the side and then anything I need that's not groceries here. But what this does, it gets rid of any excuses or impulse buys. Like when I go in the store, if I commit to only buying what's on my grocery list and I bring a pen and I cross everything off as we get it so that I don't forget. If I went in without a list, I would grab all the good looking stuff. Oh, I want this, I want this, I want this. I would forget my staples. So like I would forget all the stuff I eat on a daily basis and then I would end up eating things during the week that I really didn't want to. It's so much easier to go off track when you don't go in with a grocery list and you don't only buy what's on the list. And what I, I also do with the list is I include treats on the list because if I take away treats or don't you know, buy something that I look forward to eating in the cart, like mini chocolate chips or cereal for my protein ice cream, then I'm not likely to stick to what I'm doing. So I do include treats on the list as well, a good balance on my list. 11, make your own kettle corn. This is another sassy special. He came up with this. So this is crazy, but the Orville Redenbacher has a sweet and salty kettle corn microwave bag. For one bag or like nine cups popped, it's 360 calories. If you get the 80% less fat Smart Pop, 13 cups popped or one bag is 240 calories. So you're saving a ton of cows. And then when you make your own kettle corn by doing a couple of sprays, like a couple second sprays of cooking spray, a little bit of salt and a pinch of sweetener, you're only adding about 20 cows, depending on like, you know, the cooking spray and the sweetener that you use. So you're really getting a ton of popcorn, your own sweet and salty kettle corn for way less cows. 12, flavor your own foods like oats and yogurt. For example, if you go to the store and you get the Oikos 0%, we show, um, we're showing a strawberry raspberry flavor. Three quarters of a cup is 130 calories, 13 grams of sugar and 17 grams of protein. If you get the Oikos 0% plain, three quarters of a cup is 100 calories, five grams of sugar, and 19 grams of protein. So you're saving cows, saving sugar, adding a little bit of protein. And what we do to flavor it ourselves is a little bit of the sweetener, or we'll use something like the fat-free, sugar-free pudding mix and only do like a teaspoon or half a teaspoon. So you get the flavor, but with still less calories and sugar than you would with the flavored one. There's also extracts. This one we just got off Amazon. We're not sponsored, we just decided to try it out. It's a cake batter flavor. And what's the name of it? Lor Loran oils. It flavors stuff without sugar and not really a ton of calories. And it really tastes like vanilla cupcakes actually. And then oatmeal. The Quaker Instant Oatmeal, the maple brown sugar, a package of that, it's 160 calories and 13 grams of sugar. Where if you get the Great Value Quick Oats, it's half a cup, a serving, is 140 calories and zero grams of sugar. And then if you sweeten it yourself, to make your own maple brown sugar. I like to use the Steve's Maples low calorie like pancake syrup. It's four tablespoons is like one calorie. And then I would only use a tablespoon. And then I get the Truvia brown sugar blend and half a teaspoon 
is only four calories and one gram of sugar. So you're really not adding a ton of cows and not a ton of sugar. You're making your own instant brown sugar oatmeal and saving cows. Numero 13, number 13. Count your cooking spray sprays. A lot of cooking sprays will show you like that there's zero calories on the can, but companies don't have to put calories if it's under a certain amount. So just because it says zero, it doesn't mean that there's no calories in it. So for example, this one actually tells you half a second spray is five calories. I used to, before I knew this, I would do like five to 10 second sprays. So that's like, 50 to 100 calories of cooking spray. Now I'm really mindful of that and I try to really count my sprays, like no more than two to three seconds of spray. And later in the yeah. day, I was never once in my life going, oh, remember how good that cooking spray tasted this morning? So you don't even, a lot of these hacks, you don't even know it and that's the key to all of it, tricking yourself. Exactly, like tricking yourself to you get to love what you're eating, but you don't realize that you're actually consuming less calories or like sneaky cardio or wearing a cute outfit and you're like, yes, I can't wait to do cardio today because I look cute today. <laughs> you know, that's like... It's not about punishment. Exactly. And that like sassy bubba camera friend my cute husband he's lost the same amount of weight as me 130 pounds we've both kept it off for eight years and we've used these hacks we've discovered some along the way some of them we've done from the beginning they make it feel enjoyable and that's what we learned sustainable weight loss is all about we made it a punishment before we found what worked when it worked we love what we're doing. It feels fun. It should be fun. And that's my saying. If it's not fun, you're not getting it done. You gotta love what you're doing. So the friends, I hope this helped you. Check out this vid and this vid because we share tons of fun and sustainable weight loss tips in these vids and like we do like this all day and be cute. And <laughs> if you wanna know exactly, exact portions and meals that I ate to lose the weight, Check out my weight loss ebooks, but I also have the first 50 is exactly how I started my exact portions, exact meal plans. Code Nicole, save yourself 10%. I love you. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your love and support, sweethearts. I can't wait to catch you in the next one, cutie. Peace. See ya. See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.